All right, guys. It is December 22nd. We're going to be tackling CCP number 22. I was right. Santa Slay by some person, probably this person, oh so guinea pig. And one other person, I think, is what I saw there, but I'm not sure. Let's see what this is. Oh, what the heck is this? Bobsleigh. The weird bobsleigh. Uh, sorry, I couldn't see. And I want to jump so that I land this bobsleigh good. But for now, we'll just accept that that's like that. We've got some roller coaster bobsleigh, really. Oh my god. Alright, well, we messed up. Using an uncolored transition right there. Okay, just gonna kind of let things happen. I didn't touch the magnet. Okay, and then we do this. I don't even know how to handle this bobsleigh. Oh, okay, sure. Get another bobsleigh. What on earth is this? These are some very interesting custom blocks for all these weird transitions and bobsleighs. I see this using the new blocks. Hold on. This, no, it's a CCP map. It shouldn't be using the new blocks. Came out way before then. Because I believe there's an approval process to the CCP maps, meaning that these were built way before the day that they're released. And I believe the update came out in December, so... I don't think there's any possibility that the new blocks could make it in for these uh, tracks that we're getting... Because tomorrow is going to be CCP 23, whatever that happens to be. Hold on, I gotta click this button. There we go. Instant improvement in frame rate, because that's how that works, I guess. What if I jump really far left to rock all the way to the right? Okay, really far right, and then rock to the left. Seems like a good idea. Maybe a little less is extreme. Maybe like this. Okay, I gotta slow down from that. Not too concerned just yet. Mainly because... <clears throat> I haven't yet figured out the whole track anyway. I'm not on improvement right now. I'm on just figuring the dang track out. And you don't want to do that. I think there is some credence to going a little right here to get launched to the left. To get this box like very smooth. And get this loop nice. Get this jump good. Into the bobsleigh. Just gonna kind of let it wobble right now. Okay. And then I completely didn't land there, but that's fine. Doing these strange transitions. What is this? 
What is this? Every, what is everything that's going on here? That's not okay. Are you serious? So that's the finish. Oh my god. So we missed the finish, sadly. That's not too bad. Why am I doing that now? I wasn't having a problem earlier. Don't do that. What did I just say? I said don't do that. And I went and did it. You know, I didn't do it. I went and did something else. So, honestly, pretty good. Okay. These are some ridiculous blocks. You know, a while ago, I saw a plugin in development that basically lets you make any transition between two block types, basically. Very smooth. Or at least two road block types. And I'm wondering if this is the... Because you can define, like... You can define a start and an end. I don't know if at that point... At that point, you were able to just define any arbitrary point. I don't even know if that's this being used. It's probably not, but... I haven't seen that plugin in a while. I don't know if it's out yet. As soon as I saw that it was a thing, I looked for it, but... It wasn't released yet. Uh, this is bad. Because I'm gonna rock to the right. And then I'm just gonna fly out, yep. If anything, I need to jump over here to get rocked to the lift. Okay, lip up and over. Jump in, actually get a good bobsleigh. Land this. Get this. Oh no. Oh, I flew out. I'm gonna just upside down fly. Interesting how I was kind of rotating. I was kind of spinning in that um, reactor. And then as soon as I got up da upside down, it felt like I kind of just like locked in to an upside down fly. You don't want to get air like I did there. Uh. Also, finally it updated with using like the default rider skin. Much better. I'm not some blue idiot now. I'm glad the default is black. Like it used to be, because it fits with the skin. I don't like the blue highlights. Kind of wish they were purple to match the car skin, but I can't ask for everything. Honestly, if those were skinned to, if that blue highlight color was skinned to be the same color as your trails color, which you can set in the settings, it'd honestly be fine. Oh, okay. Went too far over. You're constantly battling with icy dirt tires and normal dirt tires. It's like constantly on and off. Oh God. Yep. that loop with icy tires and well means that I have less control over my car 
Icy tires normally aren't that big of an issue, but because we're coming out of a loop upside down, my grip situation isn't the best anyways. So landing in a state where I have grip, just so I can use that grip that I have is um, not easy. Whoa, I need to do this better. So much speed that can be gained if I just do that better. And then I need to wobble to the side, but earl but later, not earlier. That's not good. Yep. Okay. Fine with the nose down there, honestly. You know, I guess the I guess the track being named Santa Slay is pretty topical. I guess we are doing a lot of bobsleighing. It's just very weird bobsleigh. Get that wheel down for the sick landing. Need to stay. I can't be doing that because I have icy tires and there's no way to recover that. I'm gonna not mess with cameras. Only because... I know where I need to aim now. Just need to aim here and then follow this around very gently. Basically a straight line. I don't have to mess with cameras. I can focus on making sure I'm lined up. I'm just gonna let this wobble. And then wobble back. Okay. I'm gonna need to aim right there. Nice. Nice again. Okay. It probably is faster, though I don't know if it's possible. Probably faster to, um, um, I call it to not, um, uh, gosh dang it. Probably faster to not be on, be in the air in that section, whether or not that's Super possible is unknown, but it's probably what you want. Ah. Get over there. Nice. Get down. crazy how smooth this is, considering what the track is. Woo! And I missed the finish. <laughs> there fin oh, there's a finish back there. Okay. I saw the red plastic and was like, oh, does that mean there's a finish around the hole back? Yes, it does mean that. But why would you do that and instead actually get a real finish? Um, let's do this. all that. Ah. Continue. Get my, get my cursor off of the top of the screen so you don't have the bar up at the top there the whole time. didn't jump far enough to the left, the right. Honestly, I want to jump as minimally to the right there as possible. But more than 
but at least enough to actually make the jump, you know, that'd be great. Get a nice nose down. So we go into this section super nice. I don't like that I slid around a bunch, but it's fine. Okay, I feel like I don't need to be... I'm trying to steer because steering in bobsleigh normally helps, but actually I don't think in that scenario it helps. Or at least steering as much as I was helps. not even touching the steering. In this case, bobsleigh is very automatic. Because the mapper made it, you know, the mapper anticipated this. Oh! I'm on the ceiling. You don't want to be on the ceiling. It's a bad idea. Uh, ah, there we go. Very automatic. Do have to do some correction though. Can't be just like press forward for a lot of these sections. To do some level of correction at some point. But a lot of it can be just done like press forward. A lot of obsolete can sometimes just be that. Or well, normally you're holding a button, but in this case it seems like it seems like in this case the the normal amount you'd want to be holding is not what you want just because of how you're doing like a non-standard bobsleigh i'd say let's do this loop hole let's see up ah uh, okay, we're fine Gonna let it do its thing. No. Okay. That was not good, but better than failing. Oh, you don't want to turn that aggressively, though. You want to have the bobsleigh do most of the work, honestly. Yeah, you wanna... You don't wanna try to center yourself or ride that well. I'm putting in extra effort to make this stuff more smooth, and honestly, that's causing problems. Just need to let the bobsleigh do its thing. Like this. I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm just gonna go in a straight line, except for a rightward tap at the end. And 
then here. Let it do its thing. Make sure I get this. Now I have control. I'm on dirt. And go straight. Well. Oh no, are you kidding me? Okay. I tried to make sure I stayed on the ground. I don't even know if that's possible. I should watch the GPS. What time are we at? 2040? Or somewhere around there? Maybe in a couple minutes? I'll give it a check. Really, I'm only looking to see if, like... Um... I'm really only checking to see if, like, the risky finish can be done while... Always on the ground. I'm pretty sure that's not the case, but... I have to make sure. Almost went too far to the right. Okay. Down on the bobsleigh. And, well, I make it into the... Oh, no. I was just hoping that I would make it into the finish, which I did not do. percent steer to the left there seems like it helped oh, it does seem like it's helping a little 25 percent steer to the direction that i'm going my big speed and then i crashed really good the thing is like that Regardless of risky or non-risky finish, I have to jump down there. I guess maybe there's an argument to be made that I don't need to go down there if I'm doing the non-risky finish, but why would I do the non-risky finish? Like, come on. Okay, good. a slight steer to the right or to the left get over there get down there <gasps> okay I didn't think I got down there make the jump Very good. Oh, okay. Very nice. I'm sideways. Oh, no. I don't even want to watch the GPS now. I don't care if you can or can't do it with fully landing. I don't think that's going to happen the next run. I just want to spend the rest of this time actually making it. I geared up. Okay. Oh my god. I wobbled a little too much. And I was too far to the left as I went out, as I got out of that transition. This is too far to the right, or to the left again. Oh, it's not. Actually, not that bad.
Turns out that was really good, and I don't know what I'm looking at sometimes. This track is the epitome of, like, be very light on the steering. No! Oh my god, we've got f four minutes. We have a little bit of extra speed. I'm wondering if like a small let-up will help that transition be a little bit smoother. If you do this like sideways thing, you get a nose down, which helps. Which helps quite a lot, actually. I can get a bad gear there. Very good. Get down there. And just go straight. Nice. Get over. Um, sure. I crashed aggressively into the sidewall, but... Hey, I was four a second ago. That time made me lose a position, even though it was a significant improvement. So honestly, if I can get a sim a very similar run, but just not mess up the end, I'm Gucci. And then don't do that. But honestly, my run was pretty good. The end is where it screwed up, and I have a lot of time to make up in the end. So clearly, if I just get this somewhat similar, I'm good. Okay, get down there. Okay, here we go. Get down. Make sure that we actually do this. That was going to be a really cool corkscrew had I not failed the landed. Honestly, I'd have been okay with it, but clearly that's not the case. This is too much. We only have a couple more runs here. And I clipped. I hope this isn't too much. It's not. It's actually really good. That's bad, though. I mean, that's bad. Dude, I'm screwing up everything. Well, unfortunately, it's going to have to be it for today. Maybe I'll get this run while I'm doing my outro. Um, I will see you all tomorrow. We will tackle whatever track happens to be the track of the day for the day. Well, whenever we tackle CCP number 23, whatever that happens to be. Um, until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you all after this run. Let's hope it's a good one. Off to an equal start. Very good loop. No, dude. All right. Later.